Hi, I'm Hayley James, Certified Trainer in Neuro-Linguistic Programming, and I would like to invite you to learn how you can manage your mindset and emotions. Having sensory acuity is kind of like having a built-in radar, and it enables you to pick up on fine cues and, and distinctions that you can notice in other people when you're talking. So what we look for in sensory acuity is we look for mostly it's the face and the hands and the body movements because we're clothed. So that's the area that we generally focus on in communicating. We look at skin colour, but it's not the actual colour of the skin we're looking at. We're looking to observe a difference between a light and a dark shade or vice versa. Skin tension is actually whether or not a face is relaxed or whether or not there's strain and worry. Breathing, now breathing is very fascinating. Some people breathe high up in their chest um, and that can show that they're anxious, frustrated, um, impatient or they can be relaxed and breathing from deep down in their belly. Lower lip size is a great indicator for how someone's feeling as well. Again, tension can mean a, a tightening of the lower lip or relaxed fullness of, of blood in the lip. Your eyes. Now, we say the eyes are the window to our soul, don't we? And they really are. So look for the cues that we see um, in people's eyes. Look for whether or not they're focused and sharp. Look for whether or not they're defocused or whether they're looking everywhere but nowhere in particular. And head posture, because that's where our focus generally is, and also body movements, which might just be the tilt of the head, the tilt of your body. You understand the importance of the fine, minute details that we can pick up on that indicates to us a little bit more than um, in our communication to actually check whether or not we're on the right track is being understood, you're likely to arrive at a win-win situation at the end of the outcome. I guarantee you will love my easy to implement strategies so that you can practice how to change, how to think, how to feel and reprogram yourself for success.